the title of this video is no exaggeration, at least not in my opinion. Uh, one thing about food courts in Asia and in Kuala Lumpur in particular, they're just amazingly good. They're so good, I, I find them difficult to understand. Because I'm coming at them from a Canadian point of view. And in the, uh, when I was growing up in Canada, you go to a shopping mall, there would be a food court, but the best you could get there was some tired, stale pizza slices, some burnt coffee. If you're lucky, maybe you get an oatmeal muffin. I, there really was no selection of food, and what food there was, I mean, none of it was good. Maybe now, you know, years later, maybe they've improved, but my memory of food courts in Canada is that they were just sad, sort of uh, depressing places. I mean, you could meet friends there, have a cup of coffee, but you wouldn't go there to eat, and you certainly wouldn't go there expecting good food. But places like this, um, I'm at Lalaport Shopping Center, um, kind of a new, um, new shopping mall here in KL. And up on the fourth floor, they have a food court that they call Garden Dining. And uh, I'm starting here at the map. I love maps. And it gives you the layout of the place. Each uh, restaurant has a number that you can see there. And then off to the side, there is a matching photograph and the name of every restaurant. And you see a picture of the food that they serve. And I love that you can actually get an overview of all the food that you can get here. And on the other side, there are the, uh, the rest of the places. So I already know what I'm going to get actually because I was here the other day with, De with Wander Eats Daryl and we came here to uh, Nam Hong. And uh, this, this gives you a very clear idea of the difference between food courts in Canada and food courts here. This is actually a Michelin star restaurant. I think it has one star, maybe? I, I don't really know. But it does have a Michelin star and that's in a food court. And what I had yesterday was this meal right here, the roasted chicken rice bundle meal. And I didn't realize it at the time, but I guess I also ordered it with this add-on because I had that steamed soft tofu. And uh, I want, I'm going to get the exact same meal just because it was so good and I want to talk about it a little bit more. But before I order, I just thought I'd take a walk around and look at uh, the other places here. I'm going to go uh, clockwise, so this is where I'm going to end up, Nam Hong Chicken Rice. So I'm going to come back here, but just to see what's available, I'm going to go around in a circle from uh, this side and, uh, yeah, tour of the uh, food court at Lalaport. There's the first one, Anna Omar, authentic Penang cuisine. Walk on fire. Core fry, so this would be all a Korean food. But again, just looking at the food on, on in the signs, you can tell just how high quality the food in these food courts can be. It's really quite something. Harleys, burgers, and fries here. Ah, more seating and oh, it looks like it's uh, the children's uh, play area. Looks like they're having a big party today. Ah, another sign for a uh, garden dining. Where we are. Drink stall beyond drinks. Bakery, Haruka Bakery, 
sunny apes. So Asian and Western food. We get spaghetti and other things here. Japanese uh, curry noodle and udon. That would be really nice. Anything from that menu I would enjoy. Temporarily closed though for some reason. Teppanyaki here. And this would probably end up being one of my favorite places. Longki, Hoki, and Mi. I like all these, the different types of Mi. And I had one of these with uh, Daryl the other day. He ordered this one here, A9. That's the uh, Moonlight style fried Kui Jiao. Those are all, they all look really good. White ramen. Another uh, Korean restaurant. Pizza. Prince Valley. Nasi Lamak, there you go. Classic of Malaysian dining. And then now we've come all the way around back to uh, where I'm going to get my lunch. Chicken rice again. Tomorrow we have a roasted chicken, steamed chicken and BBQ. Okay. And just for other rice and pieces. Okay. Yeah. So it's roasted and that's barbecue? Yeah, barbecue. And this comes with the whole set? Yeah. What what are what are these different this things? Tofu. That's and tofu. This, this dumpling. Dumpling. And this our big custard. And custard. Our lime juice. And lime juice. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'll have that set, but with the uh, the barbecue yeah. chicken right. rice. So do you need any side dish? I don't think so. I'll just go with the uh, the, right. the so set the, for now. Okay. All right. I've placed my order. I went for the barbecue chicken set and it came to uh, 20, how much is it? 23.8 ringgit, so almost 24 ringgit. Looks like uh, everything is ready to go. Okay, thank you. Ah, cutlery here. There. So there it is. Looks great. Thank you. This one is the pudding. The pudding. The brand's called cream filet. Custard. Uh, it's a dessert, eh? Mm. Right. You can take a bit of the chili. Okay. Uh, That's the sauce there. Okay. Thanks a lot. Enjoy your meal. I will. There's my meal. So it is different from what I had last time. I thought I had the barbecue chicken last time, but I think I just had the, um, maybe just the roasted chicken. So this is barbecued. Maybe it comes with the barbecue sauce, soft tofu, the custard for dessert, and a very unassuming drink. It's like lime, lime, I think, but it's really, really good. I like that drink a lot. And uh, two dumplings with, uh, with mayonnaise. And um, yeah, uh, fish ball and uh, broth. And uh, I found the rice when I was here last time very tasty as well. Kind of a, um, a, a like a buttery cream taste or something. It was really, really good. One thing I noticed when I was here with Daryl, it was, it was just yesterday, is when I, I went to get my meal. It's served on a tray you know, with all these dishes spread out on the tray with the drink. And I went to pick it up and it's like you needed to be a bodybuilder just to lift the tray because it's, you know, all, there's a lot of food, you got the drink and all of the, um, the, uh, the plates and the bowls. I mean, it's real, you know, heavy stuff. And you put all this together, it's a lot on one tray. And uh, yeah, you have to be very careful carrying it over to your table. And uh, I took it all off the tray, of course, because this food deserves to be 
spread out like this, like a proper meal and not sitting on a uh, cafeteria tray. So like I said, I can't remember whether I had the, um, whether there was sauce on the chicken from yesterday or not. It's nice. A bit sweet, like a sweet sauce of some kind. I'm gonna try some of the, the chicken on its own. Mm. That was really good. Yeah, it's funny, the rice. You don't think of rice as having a flavor, but when you have rice every day for a long time, you do notice different flavors for different rice, and this rice has a really nice flavor. It's a really nice uh, complement to this food. Mm. Mm. Maybe I will put the chicken on the... Uh, so I think I'll put some of the sauce on the rice. Is that gauche? Am I not supposed to do that? Yeah, put some of the sauce there and... I've kind of messed up their presentation a little bit, but hey. Put that on there. And it comes with soft uh, tofu, which is what I have here. Mm. That's really nice. One of the reasons I wanted to come back here so soon was that when I had this meal with Daryl, I was sort of busy you know, chatting with him or talking about all kinds of things. And I felt like I didn't pay as much attention to the food as I should have. I didn't even know what all the individual dishes were. I kind of had a feeling, you know, what you would call them, but I, I wanted to come back and have a little more of a deliberate meal experience, you know. So this being the soft tofu. It's really nice. And of course, this is the uh, custard. It's sweet with a sweet sauce. I'll save that for dessert. And I think it's the same drink that I had uh, yesterday. Yeah, I like that a lot. Lime. Very good. Oh, and we have the, uh, the dumplings. So I'll have one of these. really good. It's just nice to have a variety of dishes like this. I mean, again, in keeping with the theme of this video, to have a, a meal like this with so many separate dishes in a food court at a shopping mall, this seems insane to me from a Canadian point of view. Never had this experience in Canada. I said, maybe you can today. Maybe they've uh, evolved and gotten better, I don't know. But it feels like shopping malls in Canada are less popular than they used to be. <clears throat> but shopping mall culture, just across Southeast Asia, is still very strong. So that is my meal. I'm going to uh, dive into the main course and I'll check in later on when I, uh, when I have my dessert. main meal was done. Loved it. I <laughs> loved every dish. And uh, now it's time for dessert. And uh, yeah, I remember this from when I had it before. Very, very good and, and sweet. So it is a dessert. And yeah, these types of custard, it has a certain flavor, but I can't quite put my finger on it. I, don't, I, I couldn't tell you what that flavor is. And it's, uh, I like it, it's not too sweet. You know, it's not a really, it's not a sugary dessert. Really nice flavor. But again, I can't, I can't tell you, there's something going on there. I don't know what it is. Hmm, really good. So there you have it. Insanely good food courts. Yeah, no other word for it. And uh, even the seating here, I didn't even notice this last time I was here, but they even have uh, 
like garden patio furniture, which is very cool. I noticed uh, some people sitting here and relaxing today. But yeah, I mean, they have a whole bunch of these with, uh, you know, you don't need the um, umbrellas. There's no sun or rain in here, but yeah, just really comfortable seating. Yeah, just like lawn chairs that you'd have out in the backyard back in Canada. And then these uh, nice wooden tables, and then they have seating over there by the window. And I think there are electrical outlets over there. You plug in your laptop. So, there we have it. I noticed that Nam Hong Chicken Rice has been in business since uh, 1938. Heading back out into the mall and uh, heading back to my hotel. Funny thing is, when I left from my hotel to come here, my, my room has no windows, so I had no idea what was... I, I saw a weather report saying sunny weather, so I didn't even think about it. But as soon as I stepped outside the front door of my hotel, it was just pouring down rain. Like, it was a storm. But I just got up my umbrella and I came here anyway. So, we'll have to see whether the rain is continuing or not. All right, that's it. Planet Doug reporting from uh, an insanely good food court.